Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically cable size calculation. How to select the cable size. Okay. And how to select it from the cable catalog. So in this video, we will only calculate the cable size for HT size, high tension size. Okay. That is for 11 kV line. So before you start the session, I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. Here we have a three method which we'll be going to learn. Okay. So these are first method is full load current or current carrying capacity method. Okay. Then second is short circuit calculation method third voltage drop calculation method so during the selection of the cables we need to consider these three all okay so in this video we will only focus on full load current method or we can say current carrying capacity in later videos we'll cover this short circuit and voltage drop so next so here we have a SLD single line diagram of the SLD. So this is the 11 kV CT line. We can say point of supply POS means point of supply of any electric board. So first here we have a VCB vacuum circuit breaker on HT side. So this is the HT side and then we have a step down transformer. Okay, this we uh, call feeder one and so capacity of the transformer is 100 kva and from the lt side of transformer we have taken one acb and from the output of acb lt side so this is the feeder 2 okay which is going to connect it to input side of this breaker okay then from the output of this breaker it is going to feeder mccb so here we have a this one feeder which is called feeder 3 and its total connected load is 200 kilowatt similarly for feeder 4 80 kilowatt similarly for feeder 5 25 kilowatt and similarly for feeder 6 this is 700 watt okay so this is the SLD as per this we are going to calculate the cable size for HT side okay then LT ST means high tension side and LT means low tension side of each feeder cable size. Okay, actually how much cable is required for this particular feeder as per the load. Okay, as per the connected load. So now let's come to the calculation. So in this video, we will only focus on this part. In next video, we will go for LT side cable calculation. Okay so here so cable sizing for st side that is 11 kv feeder one as you know that capacity of the transformer is 100 kva okay so this is the actually apparent power okay so according to that and this is the voltage this is st side voltage which is 11 kv pos point of supply so this becomes 11,000 volt okay then as you know that the formula for uh, apparent power square root 3 then V multiply with I I means load current okay full load current so as per this formula we are going to calculate the full load current full load current so here full load current is equal to P apparent power divided by square root 3 into voltage so let's put the value of this power so here we converted this 100 kva into va so 100000 sorry 1000 so 1000 kva this is 1000 kva so 1000 into 1000 it becomes va okay we converted it to, into va now let's put the value of root 3 so root 3 is 1.732 and voltage voltage value is 11000 so here we have put it now after the calculation it becomes 52.48 ampere so this so this is the full load current of st side okay so now as per this we go to cable catalog so 
we go only for st side 11 kb to 11 kb catalog which should be three core okay so full load current is 52.48 ampere then here we have a cable catalog so 11 kb by 11 kb this is for 11 kb point of supply this is in st side three coal aluminium conductor xlp insulator armored cable okay and outer cover is pvc type so this is the insulation now as per this how much is our full load current 52.48 and this cable we are going to lay under the ground so for ground actually this is the cable size and this is the thickness and diameter overall and here we have a current rating this one column so we have to consider whether we are going to uh, lay this cable underground or in air means external so suppose we are going to install this cable in ground so here for ground 94 ampere for so 25 square mm cable st cable can carry 94 ampere when we lay this cable in underground so this cable is so this cable can withstand this much of current so this is the actually 94 ampere is the current carrying capacity of this 24 24 square 25 square mm of this three core aluminium conductor xlp cable okay so as per this st cable catalog we go for this one this much of cable size 24 square mm aluminium conductor three core aluminium conductor so as per st cat cable catalog for underground laying so cable size is 24 square mm as its current carrying capacity is 94 mm 94 ampere now when we uh, lay the cable inside the air in air we can say in external area we have to consider this derating factor as well for safety reason okay derating factor if we lay in air then we have to consider 0.8 or it means 80 percent if we are going to lay the cable in underground then we have to consider this derating factor as a 0.7 or 70 percent okay so here we are going to lay the cable in underground that's why you have to consider this one so after derating factor the current ca carrying capacity of 25 square mm it becomes 94 so this is 94 ampere current carrying capacity after directing factor this is this is the derating factor which is 0.8 we are laying this cable in air okay so that's that's come 7 75.2 ampere okay now as for this after the directing factor considering also it is more than this full load current okay our full load current is 52 point something but as per so this is the flc current full load current so this cable is still more than this flc current carrying capacity of this current carrying capacity of this much 24 square mm cable is still higher than this okay so as per cable catalog cable size is 25 square mm aluminium conductor cable xlpe insulated okay so however as per nec standard that is national electric code 25 square mm which we we selected as per the st cable catalog that is not recommendable so as per nec standard so this is our full load current so here we have a table so this is point of supply and this is private building and this is govern, government building so if we are taking the point of supply 11 kb from city line then pro, for ht side of pri, private building we have to take this much of cable 240 square mm aluminium conductor xlp armor okay which is one run if we are designing for government building then we have to consider this much 95 or 120 so better to go with higher side for surface reason okay then for 33 300 square mm for private building and then 150 for government building similarly for 132 kb 400 square mm for uh, private building and then 244 government building 
so better to go with this this size okay for separate so we are calculating for this 11 kb stcb line so finally cable size for feeder one st size is one run this is actually three core okay so three core 240 square mm aluminium conductor xlp type insulation armored cable we have selected as per this nec standard okay so here for this feeder we have find the cable size one run three core 240 square mm aluminium xlp armored cable so in this video we have calculate the cable size for st only so basically this side is only for st export okay if we are going to design the building electrical design for any building so we will only responsible for lt side okay so in next video we'll learn about how to calculate lt side cable in detail okay so hope you guys understand about st side cable calculation so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video